Hey YouTube, this is Saffron dp and this is a review of All Star Batman Robin The Boy Wonder Volume 1 with Frank Miller and Jim Lee. I already did a review of this, but when I tried to upload the video, there was an error. That error was because it took too long to upload. Because it was an 8 minute video and I have really shitty internet connection. Thanks Rogers. And yeah. So this has to be really short. Which kind of sucks because there is a lot to talk about. This is done by Frank Miller. I shouldn't have to say who, who he is. And Jim Lee. I will say who he is because he's an artist. Because... A lot of people focus on, like, writers, not as much as artists. Uh, Jim Lee, he's a co-founder of Image, and he did a lot of X-Men shit, and I love X-Men. I love the X-Men, the animated series, and that was based off his artwork. I will do a review of one of his stuff. Okay, this is Batman. This is kind of like after Batman Year One, I think. Because this references Batman Year One, by also done by Frank Miller. And this is kind of like Batman early stuff. I think he's like 28 or 29 or something in this book. And if you look at the back, it's called Darker Night. And you have like a lot of cameos from other superheroes. And Superman's also in this. And you have like an early Justice League, they're just st starting the Justice League. And Superman can't even fucking fly yet. That's how early it is. Um, the reason why it's called Dark, like, it says Darker Night at the back. Because Batman is fucking crazy in this book. He's super dark, he's arrogant, he's kind of a prick. He'll, he calls himself the goddamn Batman. He'll tell people to shut up if they're making fun of him or not. And he'll beat the shit out of criminals break their arms and shit he actually lit people on f criminals on fire and ran over cops with the batmobile and it is somewhat badass i will say that much but this isn't the batman i love you know what i mean batman is not supposed to kill that's one of his things he doesn't kill but i don't know if he actually kills him but i'm pretty sure if someone, if you get hit by the Batmobile at high speed, you're gonna fucking die. Um, uh, let's look at the art. Oh, that's pretty badass. You've just been, you've just been drafted into a war. And this is, but basically this is the stories about how he got Robin to join, to join the Bat, how Robin began how how Dick Grayson became Robin and how his parents died and all that shit so I don't know if it's faithful to the original shit by Bob Kane and Bill Finger but I'm not I'm not sure but I'm guessing it's somewhat similar uh also there's a character here her name's Vicky Vale I'm pretty sure here's her looking sexy thank Thanks to Jimmy's art. I'm not sure if this is the Vicky Vale that's from the for uh, the Tim Burton Batman movie, but it sounds like her. Like I think I think there was a character named Vicky Vale in that who was the main love interest. Also, Black Canary just starts off. Uh, here's Black Canary kicking ass. And she's Irish in this, so I don't know what the what's the deal with that. Okay, I don't have that much time. Um, it's dark. It's it's somewhat. I don't, there are parts where it's boring. There's action. There's some comedy, uh, dark humor, I guess. I think, and. But some of the things that goes on, I don't know, the dialogue doesn't seem right to me. So I'm giving this a uh, 7 out of 10 
It's Frank Miller. He is a good writer, but I don't know if I like this Darker Knight stuff. I do recommend this if you're a fan of Frank Miller. and But if you're a fan of, like, Paul Dini's Batman work, you might not like this. So, that's all i got to say. See you later, YouTube.